The tutorial you're about to watch is from the Lightroom Organization and Workflow Workshop, which is part of the SR Lounge Lightroom Workshop Collection. This workshop on DVD starts from the ground up with Lightroom file management, organization, and health photographers to master a full professional post-production workflow. The workshop includes over 70 high-definition videos, and it totals nearly eight hours of uninterrupted education. Also included are 70 raw image exercise files and our workflow guide and checklist. Designed for Lightroom 4 and Lightroom 5 users, you can learn more or purchase this workshop from the SR Lounge store by clicking the link below in the description. Let's go ahead and get started. Up until now, we've shown you three different ways that you can organize and manage your overall files via folders, via collections, and also keywording. In this video, I'm gonna show you three ways that you can use to rate your images. Now, fortunately, the rating systems are much easier to do, and uh, we can actually cover it all in this one video. We're also gonna give you suggestions on best practices, and we will cover even, even more detail when we get to the workflow chapter, but I'd like to give you guys a few hints also right away. Let's get started. I'm gonna go down and pick an image. Let's go and select, uh, let's pick this image. Now, our first way of rating photos is basically via flags, okay? And you're gonna flag an image as a pick, which means that it's selected by hitting P. So this is flagged as a pick. So just remember the shortcut is P for picked. Okay, we can unflag it by hitting U, and then we can set the image to rejected if we wanna reject and basically delete this image at some point later on by hitting X. Now, if we go back to the grid view and hit G, you'll notice that any images that are flagged with an X with that rejected stamp, uh, or I should say rejected flag, are gonna be grayed out, okay? So it's an easy way of visually identifying which images are flagged as rejects at least from the grid view. When you're in the loop view, I'm gonna to get to the loop view by hitting E once again, we can see that in the film strip down here, we can see our rejected photos as well. So anything that's rejected will be grayed out in either the film strip or in the grid view or in both, depending on what view you're using. Now I'm gonna select these images here by clicking on the first one, holding down shift and clicking to the last one. I'm gonna hit U just to unflag or unreject all those images. So now it's back to its default. And I just deselected them by hitting Control D or Command D on a Mac. Now, our next way of rating is via stars. So once again, let's select another image. You can be in any one of these views, by the way. If we're in the grid view, uh, we're in the loop view or a compare view, we can still set any of these ratings. So from this view, we'll just hit one star or, or one, which is equal to one star, two, three, four, five, and then we have zero to take it back to zero stars. So if you like to use a star rating system, then you have stars as well. Now finally, we have one last rating system, which is via labels. And labels are gonna be basically from six through nine, okay? We also have additional color labels, but you have to right click to select those. So from six through nine, it sets to red, seven is yellow, eight is green, and nine is blue. You can also access additional labels by right-clicking, going down to set color label, and then we have an additional option for purple. We don't have purple available as a shortcut because zero takes its place and resets your stars back to zero. Now let me click out of there. I'm gonna reset this back just by hitting, uh, you can remove any label just by hitting the same number twice. So if we hit nine to apply a blue label, we can hit nine again to remove it. Now I'm gonna tell you what our theory is on when it comes to basically culling images. Culling is the process of narrowing down the image Images that you want to kick versus the images that you want to keep and possibly process and deliver. My whole philosophy on this, and again, I'm going to talk about this in more detail and we'll show you examples when we get to the workflow section. The whole philosophy is simplicity, okay? We like to stick with the flagging system. Why? Because there's only two things that we really care about. Is a photo good enough to be delivered or is it a reject? It's really never in between there. And if it is, then we can set it as unflagged and we keep it or whatever. But in general, it's either good enough or it's not. So when I see an image, I say, okay, I either like it, I'm gonna set it as a pick, or I see another one, I'm gonna say, I like this one, or this one, you know what, I don't like the way that there's people in the background here, so I'm gonna set this as a reject. If you use some sort of like say star system where basically one star equals a reject and five stars equals portfolio and four stars equals good enough but not quite portfolio and three stars equals uh, average, I might deliver this, your whole system gets kind of convoluted. And 
the process of basically photography itself is very subjective. So it becomes not only difficult to basically differentiate, okay, what image is a two versus a three versus a four, it also becomes very time consuming. When I'm moving from image to image, we like to make our decision quickly. Are we gonna keep or reject the photo? And it's as quick as I'm moving my keyboard right now. That's how fast we're making these decisions. So by having a star system or a label system by setting these colors, we're basically, you know, kind of convoluting this entire system and dragging out the overall culling process. We're killing our workflow. So simplicity is key. We either keep or we reject an image. If we can't make a decision, we can leave it as unflagged, but that is our preferred rating system. Now there are uses for labels. In our studio, we actually use labels to note, denote images that need further uh, revising. So basically when our post producers in the studio, when they go through and they process images, if the reviewer comes by and sees an image is not quite good enough, they're gonna select it and they're gonna mark it as a six or as a red. Red stands for revision in our studio and it means that this image needs to be revised before being delivered. Once the producer goes and revises that image, it goes back to just removed and then we can go and review it later. Or actually, technically in our studio, once an image goes from red, after the producer revises it, then it goes to yellow, which is seven. And then basically the uh, reviewer goes by and gives it one more check and gives an approval. If he approves it, he removes the label and then, uh, and then it's delivered. Okay, so there are uses for labels, but in general, if you are just a you know, typical photographer that likes to take photos and stuff, I would stick with just the, the P, U, and X, just flagging system by flagging a pick, leaving it unflagged if you're not sure, or rejecting it. Uh, and really between those two, I would stick with either keeping it or rejecting it. Don't become an image pack rat. As for Everybody else, if you like the star system, if you like labels and you wanna use it for something else, then by all means, go ahead. You know, we've seen photographers have all sorts of different kind of rating systems. We'll give you suggestions based on workflow and best practices, and you guys kind of choose what works for you. Before we finish up with ratings, what I'm gonna do is select all the images that I have in this catalog by hitting Control A or Command A on a Mac, and I'm gonna set all of them at the same time back to uh, unflag, which is you. And then once I do that, I'm also gonna make sure that I reset all my labels. And the easiest way to do this, well, you could right click, you could go down to color label and you can set none. Or if you want to, what's even quicker, I think at least, is to just to hit red. So you set it to red by hitting six and then you just remove it. And now it removes it from all images. I'm gonna hit control D or command D on a Mac to deselect our little selection here. And we're done with ratings. I've given you guys my spiel on what I believe is best practice when it comes to ratings. So uh, let's head on to the next video now.